Glaciers, nature bulldozer. Glaciers are giant hunks of ice that push the land out of its way as it slowly moves downhill. It is sometimes called nature's bulldozers. But how do they form? An alpine glacier starts as snow that falls down onto the mountain and gathers into a dip called a coulee. This is called the accumulation zone. As more and more snow falls, it packs down really tight. A year of snow is called a fern. These fern layers eventually fuse into glacial ice. As the ice gets heavier, it starts to melt, which lets the glaciers start to move. This is called rotational slip. In the accumulation zone, the glacier will keep growing. As a glacier comes farther down a mountain, it will warm up. The equilibrium line is where the ice starts melting faster than it accumulates. Below the equilibrium line is the ablation zone. Glacier shapes and pulls the mountains by breaking off rocks. This is done by freeze thaw weathering and plucking, which is the tearing out of rocks from the underside of the glacier. The glaciers then erode the rock, moving it downhill. The broken bits of rock and the glaciers move along the ground, causing even more weathering that moves out the ground. This is called abrasion. The water that flows under the glacier is called meltwater. Meltwater causes deposition, which is the dropping of the eroded dirt and rocks. Eventually, the meltwater becomes streams and rivers that float into the lakes and ocean. One day, that water may evaporate into the clouds and become another snowflake. That could add to another glacier. Glaciers, nature's bulldozer.